Yes, yes, yes. I found the solution, okay? So that, that's amazing, right, guys? That's amazing. I found the solution for this problem that I was struggling to find the solution for that. So the problem was, um, how can I change the color of a widget dynamically? What does it mean dynamically? I, I mean having uh, an input field and uh, with the hex color inside the input field, I should be able to change the color of the widget. So that's amazing, amazing guy. So if you are interested to it, please uh, subscribe to the channel and put a comment, a like, whatever. And so that's it, let's get started. Welcome to the video. So, 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 so. As you can see on the on the canvas, uh, in actual, I already placed some uh, some some elements, some widget. Uh, so one, it's an image, so it is the core of everything here on this uh, for this tutorial. So what we have here is an input field and a button. Okay. That's it. Now, what we have to do here is just to uh, take the button and uh, add a new interaction on click. On click, we have to change the image, so set image of our color, not as a default image, but as a value. Here, we are going to copy paste basically uh, a URL. Now, we are, I am going to show you which URL. So we're going to dummy image as you can see here. So I was just uh, already preparing uh, uh, this here. So here uh, as you can see it, there is a size uh, of, of the elements uh, that could be like 200 by 200 or whatever right. So and as you can see here we have a background color black foreground color black and here we can also choose the the format but we don't we don't need it for the moment okay and so as you can see here uh, the um, the the good thing of this website it it generates basically a URL that we can use inside action so now I'm going to create a one pixel element so one pixel one by one so background color we keep it everything like this okay because we we actually we just need this url we copy this url and as you can see here this little 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 dot here as you can see uh here we have this our our um, elements right so we copy this url we go into action and we say in the fx that i want this as color okay here we're going to put a local variable that we are going to uh, replace uh, uh, for the uh, for the color actually so that it's dynamic so here we call we create a, a local variable that is called color that is the text on widget input hex of course we have to uh, change now the color gi given by the URL with the um, local variable so here we're going to put color we copy and we paste it also for the foreground and we we say okay that's it that's that's finished okay finished we're going in preview of course at the beginning we don't have anything so it's just just an image but as you can see here i was already uh testing this right so if we put for example uh, a light gray f2 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 whoa, voila voila that's it so uh we can put whatever we want like uh, i don't know uh abc one two three okay and click again and we have this green nice green or I don't know whatever we want like uh, CB CBA uh, three four five I have no idea which color it is so the, uh, that's it you see with this super super simple way we can change dynamically the color of an image that's amazing 
and as usual I put all my files uh, into a link a shareable link that you can download to test it and if you want so that's it for this video super super quick video i hope you enjoyed it uh, so subscribe to the channel and uh, activate the bell uh, all, all these nice things that uh, helps me to grow the channel okay and see you next time